Uh, this hip hop, we climbing the top. Fire we drop, never gonna stop. Come through, what you gonna do? Looking at me, I'm looking at you. Squad up, what the fuck? Breathing shooters, duck, duck, duck. Trying to get rich, changing the pitch. Got my own woman, hot out your bitch. Trust what I say, once was a slave. Never felt freer than today. going down everybody coach max la february 17th it's monday 1 30 midday today i have cardio so i'm gonna do something a little different in today's video i'm gonna go through the reps live and i'm gonna talk i'm gonna talk a little bit about 2019 recap of my goals and then my goals for 2020 okay Let's get into it. So, just simple power clean right now, one rep. I got some bands on there, creating a little bit of tension. I'm gonna start bumping up the weight. So, for 2019, my goal, was to dirty bulk. Now, when I say dirty bulk, I mean dirty bulk, dirty bulk, dirty bulk, dirty bulk. I was eating everything that I had cut out on my diet for about the first two years. If you look at the pictures in the intro, you'll see 2018, I was super lean, decently shredded, about 130, 135 pounds. And my diet was like perfect, healthy, healthy, healthy. So I was eating mainly raw vegetables and fruits. I cut out basically all grains. I cut out everything processed and I felt fantastic. But when you eat that super healthy and clean, you really don't get a lot of calories. So that's why I maintained a light weight very, very easily. Now the workouts I was doing in 2018 was not the workouts you see me doing now. I used to do a lot more full body hits, a lot more like functional movements, a lot of TRX stuff, a lot of bozu ball, a lot of balancing, single leg. And I really like those workouts. A lot of like monkey bars, climbing, just hanging, uh, what I believe is called like, like functional, survival, like if I'm gonna be out somewhere, I need to be able to survive, pull myself up, hang, climb, run, jump, all those things that are basic, instinctual. But those workouts are not hypertrophy. They're not power lifting. So you don't build extreme high amounts of muscle. So low calories, no processed foods, and functional training. I used to do like bodybuilding workouts and high calories back when I was in high school, which you see in the second picture of my intro where I had put on some muscle mass. I weighed about 150 pounds. And I loved it. It was, for me back then, it was great, but I wasn't just lifting weights on my own. I was also doing MMA training. So a lot of cardio there. And I ran track and played football. As you see my first picture, when my first freshman year started out in football, you see scrawny 120 pound me. That was like, 
you know, middle puberty. I thought I was gonna get a lot taller from that point, but I really didn't. Grew like maybe like an inch. So that didn't give me an advantage to gain more weight. So the only way to gain more weight was just to put on some muscle. So now, 2019, I said, all right, it's time to bump it up, time to get back on it. So I started eating literally like everything I had cut out, just back on. Bunch of grains, bunch of breads, bunch of chips. I had cut out fried food. I had cut out processed food. I had cut out um, highly processed grains. I cut out basically a lot of stuff. And I just let my diet go back to it. So I was going to a lot of vegan food festivals and just grubbing out on everything in sight. And yes, I do understand that when you dirty bulk and you eat a lot of fatty foods, it's not optimal. But for my body type, my body type is like, it absorbs everything extremely, extremely quickly. So being leaner and lighter in weight is more suitable for my body. No matter what, no matter what I've done. If I miss a couple meals, my body stops gaining weight and it starts to drop weight. So my body, for me, I had to try to trick my body into holding more than it's used to. So I started off 2019 about 140 pounds. And I finished 2019 at 180. Now, that's not 180 pounds of lean muscle mass, okay? Don't get confused and think, oh, this guy gained 40 pounds of straight muscle. That's not what happened. What had happened was I did gain some muscle mass. Also filled up all the carbs in my body, so my carbs are loaded up. And my fat cells too. Of course, I gained some fat. My body fat percentage used to be 8% in 2018. Going to 2019, it slowly started to increase, which is not a problem for me, because like I said, I can lose it very easily. So right now, I'm at about 16%. So I also got twice as fat as I was in 2018, through the whole year 2019. So. 16% body fat on the scale, it's still in the fit level. Once you pass 17, you get to 18. 18 to 24 is average for male. So I'm still in that fit level of body fat, but for my body, it's been able to allow itself to hold the weight and gain more weight versus just burn it off like that. So now we're in 2020. I've been holding myself between 175 and 180. I'm not trying to gain any more weight because now I feel like I'm just gaining fat. Which is why now I'm doing cardio. So last year, 2019, I did zero cardio. 2018, I did a lot of cardio. I implemented cardio in my weightlifting sessions. Supersets with cardio movements. 2019, zero cardio. Which is another reason why my body fat percentage also went up. I was lifting about four days a week. Saturday, heavy legs, like I do now. Sunday, heavy upper body, like I do now. Tuesday, legs, Wednesday, upper body, Thursday, rest. So I was resting Thursday, I was resting Saturday, and I was resting Monday. Three days off, four days on, bouncing it around. And I was able to gain a lot of strength, a lot of muscle from it, but because I did no cardio, my body also was able to hold on to a little bit more fat. I'm 
those days that I had off, I had made two of those days a cardio day, and one of those days an arm day. So the training that I've been doing doesn't really focus on arm training. Arm training is more uh, hypertrophy based workout versus the workout that I've been doing is more power based, which is what I'm gonna get into next. I changed my training from hits to more power base. So I'm constantly trying to push myself on the weight, on the squats, on the deads, on the bench. That's why you see me these past couple weeks constantly pushing those singles. And you think, how can somebody be trying to max out every single freaking week? But as you see, I do it different ways. Sometimes it's incline, sometimes it's decline, sometimes it's flat. Sometimes we got chains, sometimes we got bands on the bottom. Yesterday you saw we had bands on the top. So it allows you to continue pushing yourself, varying the weight, varying the positions, which overall is gonna help your base stand movements. So right now you see me holding this weight too because it's feeling pretty good. I don't wanna get too, too heavy and turn it into pure strength training. It's supposed to be cardio. So now it's power lifting, a little bit of hypertrophy. So you gotta have hypertrophy in there. Get the cardio days in there now, and the arm day. The arm day is straight hypertrophy. You really can't do much for power. I mean, there's no like, you know, barbell curl is the most power you can get in biceps. Close bench, uh, bench press, close grip, is the most power you're gonna get for triceps. You see me do those a lot. Sometimes even on chest day, I'll do close grip. And I'll focus more on squeezing the chest. And on the arm day, I focus more on keeping the elbows tighter and squeezing the triceps. So that's the most power you're gonna get for the arms. But you gotta have arms, right? You gotta build some arms up. So that's why I've been doing the arm days. So cardio day today, doing power cleans. Each time I hit that lift, my heart rate spikes up. Then I'm talking to you guys, my heart rate comes down. I'm gonna hit it again. Now my heart rate just shot up. I just tighten my core, I just tighten my back, I just squeeze my glutes. So the cardio is a little different. But as you saw from Saturday, I was doing sprints on the bike, some walking, and some abs. Today I'm gonna finish up with these. Then I'm gonna have some sprints on the treadmills, which those are tough. And then I have a little bit of some farmer carries and some planks. Let's keep going, let's keep wrapping it up. So yeah, so 2019 my goal was to build as much weight as possible trick my body into holding on to the weight. So that way it knows like, hey, you don't need to burn everything off. You need to keep some on, hold some on. And then that's gonna help me to gain more weight as I try to build more muscle mass. So then the muscles are gonna have more resources. Now there is a certain point of getting too much body fat and then it become a, excuse me, it becomes a hindrance to growing muscle mass. Yeah. I know sometimes you see a lot of these guys who are like super yeah. huge, they're like pretty fat, they have a lot of, they're basically obese, but then they're like bench pressing 700 pounds and they're like lifting, you know, all this crazy, crazy amount of weight. You know, those guys are strictly power lifters and they, the way they train their body, you know, they don't need to have lean muscle mass. They're just already got gigantic muscles under all that fat. If they didn't, if they looked that big but didn't have that much strength, then yes, they'd be a lot more um, just purely fat. But when you're trying to get yourself to a physique, you want to give your body the optimal chance, the best environment for the muscle to grow. And everyone's body's a little bit different. I, mean, I can't be built like a power lifter. I'm only five foot six. There's just no way you're gonna see me on the world's strongest man competition pulling thousand pounds to the floor. As much as awesome as it would 
sound and to be able to pick up thousand pounds at my size, it's just not likely, you know? The leverage isn't there, the weight to balance it out isn't there, you know? Thousand pounds will take me with it. Got about three more there. So, now I'm getting so lightheaded from all this, I forget where I'm at now. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So, that, that's, that's what I did 2019. Built up muscle, loaded up the carbs, and put on some fat. Right now, 2020, I'm still doing a bulk which means that I'm not going to lower my calories. I'm keeping my calories right now still up high. I'm averaging between 3,000 calories to about 3,600 calories, depending on the day. Today's a cardio day, it's gonna be low calories, so about 3,000, maybe 2,900. On the days where I do more dynamic, more speed, I'll be about moderate calories, maybe 32, 33. And on the heavy days, those are gonna be um, about 3,600 calories. So I'm still bulking, keep my calories the same, adjusting my calories based on what I do with my activity. So I'm not gonna eat a shit ton of calories on my low cardio days because that's just not gonna add up anymore. At least before, I ate high calories even on my off days. Now, I don't do that. So I'm in what you call, you can say it's a recomposition, a recomp, where I'm trying to maintain my muscle mass, continue to build more muscle mass, maintain my weight, but lower my body fat percentage. So I want my body fat percentage to get down just a little bit, just a little bit. Right now it's like 16, teetering on 17. After Christmas and New Year's, it was like 17. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting too, too fat now. And I know some of you hearing this who are like struggling 20 or 20%, they're like, wow, I wish I could get down to 17. And you will, you just gotta keep going. It took me a long time to get myself down too. But like I said, nutrition is key. So, my goal is to try to maintain my weight, continue building my strength, lower my body fat, and just get leaner, leaner muscles. I'm not looking to be super shredded this summer. I'm saving that for next summer. So I, for me, my body, I did it for a cool while of the bulk cut, bulk cut, bulk cut. Halfway through the year, you're bulking. Other half of the year, you're cutting, and I felt like I was getting no type of muscle gains from that. My, every time I would go to cut, my strength will go down. When I come back to bulking, my strength would be like garbage. I wouldn't even hit the same weight anymore. And then when you start bulking, you gotta start eating more, and then it takes you time to adjust to eating more. And then once you get eating more, you actually feel so much stronger in your lifts. Then you go back to cutting, and you start lowering your calories a whole lot you start feeling weaker on your list. So I'm trying to avoid that. Last year, I did a whole year of dirty bulking. Now this year, I'm doing a whole year of clean bulking. So by next year, if I did this correctly, I should still be around the same weight 170 to about 180-ish, but I should look a lot more jacked, but a lot less fat, okay? That right there is gonna be the goal of this whole year. Maintaining my weight, it's gonna fluctuate, of course. And if it goes a little higher, but as long as my body fat percentage goes down, that is the goal for this year, okay guys? So let's keep it going now, it's time for those sprints. <laughs> 